Welcome to this brief video on seismic design in Tecla Structural Designer. In this video, we'll look at how TSD automates seismic loading and performs full seismic design, including additional provisions for lateral force resisting members. Design can be performed for both concrete and steel members, but in this video, we'll focus on steel. Start with a completed design for gravity and all other lateral forces. This includes wind and notional loads. Members cannot be optimized for seismic loads, so start with a reasonably designed model before moving on to seismic. The seismic wizard will walk you through the necessary steps to automatically calculate the building weight, seismic parameters, generated load cases, and finally the seismic combinations. Site-specific spectra can be input if work is performed outside of the U.S., or ASC7 code spectra is built into the program. Next, input basic information about the building. Note the maximum earthquake spectral response acceleration is input in percent gravity. The rest is calculated by the program. You do have the option to use an alternative equation to determine the seismic design category or pick your own category. The next screen is a checklist for the engineer and where you select the method used to calculate the forces. Go through and determine if your building has any irregularities. The program will let you know which analysis procedure is acceptable. In TSD, you can perform either the equivalent lateral force procedure or the model response spectrum analysis. In this video, we'll proceed with ELF. ELF allows you to use an approximate fundamental period, and the inputs on this page are for calculating that. However, you can also choose to perform a vibration analysis to calculate the fundamental period or your own input. Next, you need to tell the program what type of seismic force resisting system is in each direction. These are taken directly from the ASC7 code, and the program populates the coefficients below according to your selections. You can also modify these factors if needed. For example, if your local jurisdiction overrides any of these values. Here you select which load cases are used to calculate the building mass. You can add any load case and set a factor to be considered. You can also create load cases that are only considered here in the seismic force calculation. For example, if you have self-supporting exterior brick, you can create a specific load case for that brick load and apply it to the model in a way that the weight will only be considered here for the building mass and not used to design any of the beams or columns. Once you click Finish, the program will give you an option of combinations to generate. If you're designing your steel members to LRFD, you do not need to generate the ASD combinations. Those are only required if you're designing steel to ASD. If you have a combination of steel to ASD and concrete members, then you will need to generate both. The next screen allows the load factors that will be used for deflection. As with the previous screen, you can manually modify any of these factors as needed. Now if I open the load combinations, it will include all seismic combinations. Notice the load factors when I select a combination with dead, live, snow, and seismic. Notice the difference in the actual load factor that's being used for dead loads. This is because TSD automatically calculates the factors per ASC 7 Chapter 12 to generate the modified seismic combinations. The last thing we need to do is place the members into a seismic force resisting system. Select the members. In the properties window, check the box for seismic force resisting system. Select the direction and the type. If this step isn't done, the program would simply check the members for the seismic forces. By placing members in a seismic force resisting system, the program will perform additional code checks per AISC 341 for the seismic provisions. Now we're ready to design the building for all load combinations. That includes gravity, lateral, and seismic. We can see here in the background the gravity and wind loads results a fully passing model. Open the show process window to see the steps that the program is running through while performing the design. In the design ribbon, click on design all static. This single command will run through the full building analysis calculate and apply seismic forces, design all members for all load combinations, and perform a check for the seismic provisions of AISC 341 and ACI if applicable. 
Once done, we can see the status view showing design summaries of the members color-coded green for pass or red for fail, and we can now review the design results. Right-click on a member and choose Check Member. You can see here the additional checks for the seismic provisions. Notice for columns, the code requires the strength design for the actual strength of the beams and some additional requirements for any braces that frame in. The program is going through and checking all of those requirements. There's a full list of all checks performed by the program in the Help menu. If we look at one of these beams, we can see again why it's failing and we can drill down further to figure out exactly what code provisions it's not passing and we can make changes to the model as needed. So now you can go through the design results, modify the members to get a passing design. That brings us to the end of this brief video on automating seismic design in Tecla Structural Designer.